I'm Champ Chong, and in case you didn't know, I'm not British because my accent's Australian, and this is Champ Chong Tuesdays. G'day guys, welcome to Champ Chong Tuesdays. It's the show where I choose the clips that you guys submit. If you have an awesome or fail clip from any game that you've played, you can post it as a video response down below and it could be on next Tuesday's show. And if you enjoy the show, please give that thumbs up button some love and click it. And speaking of the show, I will most likely be giving away an Xbox 360 and a PS3 on this upcoming Saturday show and only if you guys favorite this video because well, I really wanna see if you guys want it. You make me believe I'll give it to you. That was weird, but yeah, I will most likely do the giveaway if you guys show that you really want it. Anyway, yeah, uh, here is the fail clip of the week. <laughs> you know how Black Ops, well, just like any game has fail moments or just really strange, weird moments, right? Sometimes things are just so weird that it's kind of like seeing a dead person come back to life. Like in this Kill Cam video, one of you guys sent me by email. Now who does that remind you of? None other than the late great Michael Jackson. Yes, look at those dance moves, I'm serious, look at the dance moves. And just as we notice his dance moves, he shoots right back up to heaven. To be honest, it's sorta of like Michael Jackson dancing, but that nice finishing touch with the jump off to heaven at the end was pretty cool. But what it really reminds me of is one of those, you know, those huge inflatable large wacky arm flailing tube men, you know those guys. Yeah, like this one here. Those guys are really fun to look at, and it's pretty awesome. I don't know what it is, but it's nothing like the awesome clip of the week. I think you guys agree with me when I say enough of the Call of Duty Black Ops clips. But the thing is, you guys are the ones submitting the Black Ops clips and then complaining that I only showed them. Oh man, this is confusing. Anyway, as many of you guys know, I enjoy Halo from time to time, but I hate it when some noob decides to jack my ride and thinks he's all gangster stealing it like that or something. This clip is pretty awesome because the noob ends up driving off the cliff and the other guy jetpacks to safety. And the best part of all of this is that his buddy picks him up yet again and I'm guessing this whole process just repeats itself over and over again. Pretty awesome though when you think about it. Anyway, let's get into the last part of the show, which is the biggest part of the show, which is the big news! Big news! Just so you guys understand, on Tuesdays I bring up two clips and then one piece of news. On the Saturday show, I bring up three pieces of news and yeah, that's basically how it works. Tuesday's that day for awesome and fail clips that you guys submit. It's interactive day where we all get together and have some fun. That sounded really cool in my head, but when I said it, nah. Anyway, by now most of you know there's a Wii 2 on the way, or how I named it the Pro Nintendo Entertainment System for short, the Pro NES or even shorter, the penis. And if you haven't really caught on to this whole thing, the console should be out by sometime in 2012, but the thing that most people are wondering is how powerful will this thing really be? Nobody really knows how powerful this console will be, but there are a lot of rumors hitting the web just making a lot of Zelda and Mario fans jizz together into this weird form of uh, yuck. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous episode of the show, the next Nintendo console will be more powerful than the Xbox 360 and the PS3. 30% to the Xbox and 80% to the PS3. That's judging by this comparison chart that has been leaked just, well, yesterday, and um, it's showing the GPU power behind the new Nintendo system. As you can clearly see, the new Nintendo system is way more powerful than the original Wii. The 360 is in the mid-range, and the PS3 comes close, but the new Nintendo is still ahead. Just a note, please don't take this in as fact, because these are just rumors and nothing has been confirmed by Nintendo at this point. Even if this is all true, you shouldn't get too excited, because the GPU power doesn't tell the full story, and there's a lot more factors to consider in the whole thing. Anyway, I think it's that time of week where Gorilla Man asks us a question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, Gorilla Man wants to know what new feature would you like to see in this next Nintendo console? Put your answer in the comments below and it could be on the next show. So in closing, please get really creative with your answers and if you enjoyed today's show, please click that thumbs up button and if you want to give away this Saturday, please favorite the video down below. And well, that's it because I'm Sham Chong, my accent's Australian and here are the answers to Gorilla Man's previous question.